In this video, we will discuss about Markensia. Markensia belongs to division Bryophyta. It belongs to class Hepaticosida, also called as liver words. Order Markensiales, family Markensiaceae, genus Markensia. Now, Markensia is found mostly on moist shady places. This may grow on moist soil, damp moist rocks, damp sides of lakes, damp sides of rivers or any damp soil on which Markensia can grow. Now these thallus of Markensia are also called as liver words because plant body of thallus resembles lobes of liver so called as liver plant. Now, if we see the Markensia thallus, uh, now here we can see Markensia is growing in group. Now, this is one Markensia, right? So, they are growing in groups and their plant body is thallus. I mean, it is not truly differentiated into root, stem and leaf. And it is dorsiventral. It has two surfaces. Now, this uh, side which is visible, this is the dorsal side and its opposite side will be ventral side. We can see here cup-like structure present on it. Uh, these are called as gamma cups that we'll discuss in the next video. Now if we see uh, closely surface of Markensia thallus, we can see here uh, this is dichotomously branched and these are the cups which are called as gamma cups and we can see pores on the surface of the thallus. Pores are visible. I will enlarge it just to make you understand which help in gaseous exchange as well as respiration of the thallus. So if we study about uh, morphology of thallus of Markensia, so like we have seen plant body is thallus. Thallus means it is not truly differentiated into root, stem and leaves. This is haploid in genetic constitution so it is gametophytic in nature. Main plant body is gametophytic in nature. Now it has two surfaces, one is dorsal surface, second is ventral surface. On the dorsal surface we can see the groove like this. This is the um, mid dorsal groove present over here. And this point is the growing point which is helping in its growth. And this is also dichotomously branched like this is branched into two then this is branched into two. Further this is also showing branches like this. So this is dichotomously branched and growing point is situated in the apical notch. And on the ventral side, this is attached by means of rhizoids. And we have seen that pores are also present on the dorsal surface of the Markensia, which helps in uh, gaseous exchange. So this is the dorsal view of thallus of Markensia. Now, if we see its uh, ventral surface, we can see on the opposite side of the thallus. Now, we can see these are the rhizoids which are present. Now, rhizoids help in fixation of the plant to the uh, soil and absorption of water and minerals for the plant and uh, on the thallus on the ventral side are also present scales and scales they are present in almost three rows here like this the, the, there are three rows here three rows here now this this row of scale which is near to the rhizoid inner side this has a different structure this is called as appendiculate scales and these two rows one row and this is the outer row these are made up of simple scales. Now these scales, they are basically made up of many cells. So they are multi multicellular in nature and their color is purple. And uh, these scales, they also secrete mucilage. Uh, this mucilage will help to retain moisture around the thallus. And this will also protect the growing point of the Markensia. So these scales are called as appendiculate scales. And simple scales, they are called as ligulate scale. This part is the apical notch and these are the rhizoids. Now, rhizoids present in the Markensia are of two types. Rhizoids which have a wall which is smooth. This is called as smooth walled rhizoid. They are made up of single cells so unicellular in nature. Now inner wall is smooth but here inner wall is present into tubercle like projections like this. So this is called as tuberculate rhizoid. Now these rhizoids, uh, they will have cytoplasm at young condition, but at maturity, they, will, they may lack cytoplasm. 
so uh, these rhizoids basically they fix the plant to the soil and help in absorption of water and minerals and tuberculate in tuberculate rhizoid because these projections are present so they will increase the absorption surface area so this is about two types of rhizoids present in the marchantia which are unicellular mean made up of single cell uh, which have a smooth wall they are called as smooth walled and another type of rhizoid which have peg like projection called as tuberculate rhizoids then and uh, there are also two types of scales scales which are simple like this made up of many cells purplish in color multicellular this is called as ligulate scale and scales which have a appendix like structure here like this this is appendix like structure this is called as appendiculate scale and this constricted part is called as neck and this is the body of the scale so function of the scales is to secrete mucilage and to protect the growing point from desiccation in drying because this will keep that area wet so this is about morphology that is external characters of the marchantia uh, thank you for watching my video if you like my video please like share and subscribe